Hi welcome to football commune well it's been a long time yes we all know the situation in our country especially in bangalore due to the pandemic i hope everyone are safe at home please take care of yourself and your family members take special care for elderly people and people who have comorbidity follow all the guidelines given by the government and be safe well there are no turf sessions and outdoor sessions until things turn normal and safe for everyone Until then football commune has decided to share some informational videos which will grow your knowledge about this popular game well to start with here is a small informative video for those who already know who is the father of indian football i appreciate them for for those who don't know i think this video might be of some value well we all know that football in india was brought by the europeans do we know how football actually started in europe There's an idea that football grew out of some kind of head kicking cult. It was some kind of Celtic war ritual that the enemy's head was preserved and it was kicked by foot as a part of a war ritual. However, there is no real evidence to support this idea. Legend has it all and from few football historians that between the year 1018 and 1042 after the Danish invasion of England, workers discovered the head of a Danish soldier to which they began to kick around. thus the game of kick the dane's head was started and later on the head was substituted with an inflated cow's bladder the football historians believe that this event marked the starting point from which the modern football or soccer would have evolved well that's good to know how football actually evolved most of the football matches in the 19th century involved british soldiers tradesmen and sailors and indian players never had a chance to play in those clubs in in india The first person who kicked football which marked the starting point of Indian football is believed to be Nagendra Prasad Sarbadikari the man who kicked off the Indian football if we are to take a close look at the history of Indian football the way it is today it all goes back to the day in September 1877 when Nagendra Prasad kicked the ball back to the British soldier on Calcutta Maidan a 10 year old boy accompanying his mother to the river ganges was enraptured by the sight of the british soldiers kicking a ball and running after it at the calcutta fc grounds the game captivated him so much that he got down of his carriage watched the soldiers play and when one of the players asked the boy to kick it back after the ball had rolled towards him the boy happily obliged legend has it this is the first time an indian had kicked a football at the calcutta fc grounds Nagendra Prasad was born on 27th August in the year 1869 in Calcutta, West Bengal, India. As a teenager, he was very much fascinated about the game. It was he who mobilized his classmates and started playing the game at the A school compound. Attracted by the enthusiasm of the boys in the school, the European teachers of the school and adjacent colleges encouraged Nagendra Prasad and his companions to promote the game among the students in and around Calcutta. And thus the boys club was founded by Nagendra Prasad. This was the first Indian initiative of forming a club in India. Later he went ahead and started many clubs of which the Wellington club was famous during those times. Nagendra Prasad is known to leave the Wellington club when the members of the club protested about playing with Monidas who was from the lower caste. Sarbadikari said that a sporting ground is beyond any prejudice and went on to form the Sova Bazar club, one of the leading sports institutions of colonial India. the first club with the full indian players the first member of this club was moni das he later captained the mogan bagan club yet another legendary institutions of sports in india under nagendra prasad's leadership sova bazar went on to become one of the premier clubs in calcutta at that time in 1892 sova bazar created a footballing folklore by beating east sari regiment 2-1 in the trades cup which was the first ever indian victory of significance over an european team in football This was the great inspiration for Indians and many new clubs were formed. Nagendra Prasad also played a leading role in the formation of the Indian Football Association IFA in the year 1892. In the year 1900 Nagendra Prasad had nominated Kali Mitter to the IFA post. Then in 1902 he suddenly withdrew from most of his engagements in sporting organization and joined the Calcutta High Court as an attorney. The culmination of such a movement in the early 20th century came when Mogan Bagan's bare-footed players defeated East Yorkshire Regiment in the final and won the IFA Shield in 1911, becoming the first native Indian team to achieve such an honor and this was just the beginning of Indian football. But by then Nagendra Prasad had stepped away from the limelight. The footballing prowess of the Sovarkar club was on decline with the rise of Mamta Ganguly's National Association and later Mogan Bagan 
and sadly Nagendra Prasad passed away on 7 January 1940. Football Commune salutes Nagendra Prasad for his efforts to inspire the Indian youth during the colonial rule, for his relentless efforts to promote Indian football and to stand up against the prejudice in sports, he is aptly regarded as the father of Indian football. A Bengali film titled Golandaj, directed by Dhrubo Banerjee and produced by Sri Venkatesh Films, will be released on 13th August 2021, which is based on the life of Nagendra Prasad Sarbadikari, which will be a must-watch for all the football fans. I hope you like this video. Kindly subscribe and support our channel.